Hello Bearcats and welcome to the Wednesday, December 11th version of the Bearcat Broadcast. I'm Cameron Davis and this is my co-host, Michael Hansen. The boys varsity team played against Central Springs last night with a loss. They have a record of 1-2 and two on the season so far. The girls also played last night and they also had a loss, but that's okay, we'll get them next time. <laughs> Shut up. There are several lost and found items in the office. If you think you have any missing items, be sure to check it out before Christmas break, or else I'll eat them. Or send it to Africa. And now to Lane with girls basketball. North Butler girls basketball team this year, according to head coach Gary Eichenberg, has 17 players and three managers. Coach with the assistance of Ross Hawker. Eichenberg played at basketball you and I and enjoys getting to know the girls. Eichenberg's goal for this year is for the team to be focused, give all out effort, and get better every day. Learn to love the game and most of all have fun. The practice which takes place in the new annual gyms here at the NBA here at the MBHS consists of fundamentals, defense, offense, and conditioning. Obviously the team is prepared because they're off to a great start winning almost all of their games already this year. Thanks Lane. Thanks Lane. <laughs> Right. Or could we just stay together? I don't know. <laughs> and now let's go to our second story about Makerspace with Colton Klinkenberg. You hear the saws running and the hammers beating in the nails. That is the students creating things in the Makerspace in the shop. Mr. Applegate is the junior senior high industrial tech teacher for North Butler High School. This is Mr. Applegate's first year of teaching at North Butler and first full-time industrial art teacher. He has student taught for Wapsie Valley and Clarksville schools in the past. Mr. Applegate is trying to do this thing called the Makerspace Create Program. What is your goal for the Makerspace Program? Uh, my goal for the Makerspace Program is to have a space where any student can really go if they wanted to like experiment with something in the shop. Yeah. Um, just a way for them to kind of see what they can do without having to take a semester-long class. Mm -hmm. The Makerspace is open to kids from 7th to 12th grade. Where do you get all your lumber? Uh, we are currently getting our lumber from um, was Allison, so the Crawford Miller mm -hmm. lumber. Um, and if it's on, I can just pick up at Menards and Cedar Falls or yeah. anywhere else. But majority of our lumber is going to be coming from Allison since they are in our district, and you know we have people that work there, so it just makes sense to go through someone local. Mm -hmm. The most popular part of any shop class. What is the most popular part of any shop class? I'd say the most popular part is the being able to apply what they know to a hands-on project. So, you know, sit in the classroom, like that's probably the reason I became a shop teacher is I hate sitting in the classroom, but being able to go out into the shop and being able to apply it to something. Mm -hmm. So whether it be so like geometry, for example, is applied to almost every shop class I have. But just being able to apply it and being able to uh, <clears throat> take what you know and do something with it mm -hmm. instead of just having book knowledge. Mm -hmm. So next time you hear all the ruckus, that would be the Makerspace students in the North Butler shop. Thanks, Colton. And now we're going to go to my story with 2019's first annual John Off. Okay, cool. Number one. Peanut butter. What would it be called? Nuts. Not peanut butter. Nuts and cream. Okay. Number two. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? A hundred. Sixty-nine. Thirty-seven. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna guess 100. <laughs> Number three. Top three greatest smells. <laughs> uh, lavender. Um, three greatest smells, like smelliest or just the best ones. You got one already. Um. Skunk pig? I don't know. Okay, cool. <laughs> Deodorant, <laughs> lotion, and grilled cheese. Um, gasoline, 
um, liquid nitrogen and oxygen. Diesel smell, exhaust, and putting gas in. Of course it is. Number four. Twenty gallons. Sixty-nine pounds. Three gallons. Okay. I'm gonna guess a thousand. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, me. That was great. It really was. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Always remember, Bearcats, to follow the Bearcat way, and it's great to be a Bearcat. Bearcat. <laughs> Dope.